Hello, I'm Alessandro Melchiorre, and I'm a PhD student at the JKU University in Linz, Austria. Today I'm going to present personality correlates of music audio preferences for modeling music listeners, a work done in collaboration with Marcus Schadl. Previous studies in psychology have identified personality as a stable psychological aspect of human life, showing also that it has significant associations with users' behavior and preferences, including music taste. Most of the past studies, however, model music preferences in terms of genres or music styles, which may be loosely defined, subjective, and sometimes debatable. In this paper, we revisit the relationship between personality and music preferences under a different perspective. We express music preferences in terms of audio features, such as tempo, loudness, energy, and so on, which are not tied to a specific music category. Considering that we use the five-trait uh, five model, which measure personality along the dimension of openness, conscientiousness, agreeableness, extroversion, and neuroticism, we ask ourselves the following research question. Are there significant correlations between listeners' personality traits and the audio features of the music they listen to? And also, how strong are these correlations? As an example of a possible application with our results, we, we may think of a cold start scenario in a musical recommender system when personality can be used to provide initial recommendations. To address our research question, we assemble a dataset containing the personality and the listening histories of almost 1,500 users, comprising of 35 million listening events, where a listening event is a single interaction in time between a user and tracks, and 2.5 million tracks completed with audio features. We use a subset of the My Personality dataset, which provides the personality for the users. While for the listening histories, uh, we retrieve them from the music, music streaming platform Last.fm. Furthermore, for each track, we retrieve a set of 12 audio features uh, from Spotify, which are now shown on the right side of the slide, such as uh, energy, instrumentalness, or popularity. In a second step of our analysis, we reduce the number of, of the users in order to ensure the quality of our results, as we will see later. The dataset, both filtered and unfiltered, is publicly available on our GitLab page. Now that we have the listening events and the other features for the tracks, we build a music preference profile for each user in our dataset. The music preference profile is built by aggregating the audio features of the tracks the user are listening to. More precisely, for each audio feature, we compute the mean, the standard deviation, and the skewness across all tracks listened by, by the user, while for binary attributes, we compute the percentage. Notice that in this way, the tracks that have been listened multiple times by the user, and hence hinting at the preferences, uh, will contribute more to the statistics, statistics compared to the tracks listed only once or rarely. Since the quality of the aggregation metrics is strictly related to the number of listening events that we aggregate on, we filter out users that have fewer listening events than a certain threshold. We try increasingly higher thresholds in our analysis. And we notice that after a threshold of 30, the results tends to stabilize and stop changing. changing. So in our case, uh, we drop all users with fewer than 30 listening events. We then study the relationship between the personality traits and the aggregated audio features by computing the specimen's correlations. We also um, experiment with different confidence value of 5%, 1%, and 0.1%. Uh, we also control the number of false positive results by using the false discovery rate method with a Q value of 5%. In this slide, we show the results of our study in two tables. 
On the rows, we can see the five personality traits, while on the columns, we have the 12 audio features with the uh, re related aggregation statistics, mean, standard deviation, and skewness. Uh, and, as, um, and the significant correlations are highlighted and shown with the respective confidence value. As an example on how to read this table, we can see that uh, openness is positively correlated with the acousticness mean, which implies that people scoring higher on this trait tend to prefer more acoustic tracks. At the same time, openness is positively correlated with the standard deviation of most of the audio features, such as acousticness, energy, loudness, instrumentalness, danceability, and duration, which uh, which means that people more open to experience will prefer a higher variability in their music in terms of other features. For a deeper description of our results, please check out our paper. As a conclusion, we, can uh, we saw that there are significant correlations between persona listeners' personality traits and the other features of the music they listen to. The overall correlations are medium to weak, with the highest value regarding the openness trait, the openness trait. And as a future work, we envision three possible directions. The first one would be to predict the personality trait from the user, um, from the listening behavioral data without using questionnaires. The second one would be to quantify the effect of personality in terms of accuracy and beyond accuracy measures in both cold and warm start scenarios in music recommender systems. Lastly, study if users with different personality traits are treated equally by the recommender systems and different types of algorithm, algorithms, still in terms of accuracy and beyond accuracy measures. Thank you for your attention.